How's it going, Gray Boys? It is week 11. We are number four in the country, and we have a game against a three and five Northwestern who just isn't very good. Uh, first off, they're a lower overall than us, which we know doesn't happen very often. And when it does happen, I think that we've taken care of business. They are better with their total offense and rush offense, not by a whole lot. And we are just the better overall team around the board on their schedule. They have lost quite a few games in a row at one point, coming off of a big overtime win against the ranked Nebraska, but uh, lost to Ohio State, Oregon, Michigan State, Minnesota, and Iowa. Meanwhile, our only loss is still just to the number one team in the country in Auburn and the Tigers. They beat us pretty easily, uh, but they're 8-0, and we were on the road, so uh, maybe we get a chance to play them again in the playoffs. Just three games left in this season, and we are looking really good recruiting-wise, but we need to do a little bit better. If you can see down in the bottom right of the screen, we are just under 2,000 points away from leveling up. We were hoping, praying even, that we could potentially unlock Elliot Erdman. We need to level up to be able to do that. And the thought is that if we can get it done before we advance the week, we might still stand a chance with our visit coming in week 13. And that would just catapult us up the board here on the 90 overall center, but still gaining with a visit upcoming against or with the 92 overall guard and the 87 overall tight end is also looking pretty solid. There are a few guys that we're in the lead with that we can offer scholarships to. That's Jonathan Westerkamp and PJ Uzoma. I don't think that's an insta commit on either of them, but it will make things a little bit easier. This is the number three athlete in the nation and the number 13 athlete. These guys are kind of low lock cheese additions to the board. And we were giving Jonathan Westerkamp 650 a week, but we have been given a ton of uh, points to work with after getting some big commits. You can see this class starting to fill in pretty impressively. So we'll go through and I guess just figure out who we're going to offer these points to. The running back Taji McPherson is only 21% locked. Um, what do we want though? We would rather have a good defensive end in a corner. So that'll give up some points. And let's go with Javante Gilmore. Now nah, we're a little ways behind on Javante. So, or Giovante. I don't know how you say that. I guess we will give Taji McPherson some points. Unless Quay Foreman's really quick. Eh, okay, we'll give it to Quay Foreman. Just all over the place. And also, I'm an idiot because we can also give Taji McPherson 700 points and still have, uh, what is that? Over 700 to give to somebody else. Like we have everything that we ever wanted that we can just give away to players right now. So why don't we just go for the best possible players, try to increase the overall of our team, and hopefully we can try to get some of these low lock cheese guys locked down because that's a majority of our board that we're giving points to at this point. As far as I'm aware, in the top 25 polls this week, there's not a whole lot going on. We do actually, well, there's more than I thought. Uh, we got number one Auburn playing on the road at number six of Georgia. We want Auburn to win this one since they're the one team to beat us. Uh, it would be better for us, to, for them to stay undefeated and to knock Georgia out of the running or a little bit further back. Michigan, we would probably want to lose to Penn State, but I don't know if we'll get jumped there and Georgia Tech will play Notre Dame. I don't think we care about the result of that or this 20 Wisconsin versus 25 Nebraska. Climbing up the Heisman watch list is RJ Rivera. I don't know how he's second in the nation right now. He had 50 yard, less than 50 yards carrying and 17 yards receiving with one touchdown in an interesting game last week. Uh, he's a true freshman, 79 overall. He has 600 yards through eight games, nine games, whatever it is. Only seven rushing touchdowns. Uh, he has six receiving touchdowns. I just, I don't see how he's a Heisman candidate, but he just keeps climbing this board. So I guess with that in mind and the idea that we're trying to get as much XP as possible, uh, let's get into this game and try to run it up on the Wildcats. They are a 74 overall with a 74 offense and a 76 defense. Uh, so lacking compared to us in every statistical category, which is great news for us. Let's go ahead and uh, we could go all white. We could go, man, uh, we got to go gothic. The gothic uniforms for Northwestern are like so interesting and fun. 
that I think that that's what we'll stick with. Uh, they do have a lot of solid alternates, but the Gothic is very unique. It's not just like the, that graphite, but we also need to wear home stuff as well. So we'll go green, green, white. Try to have a little bit of differentiation there. Maybe silver, green, white. Uh, and we'll get this game underway. Again, offensively, they're kind of middle of the road. Seems like they run the ball much better than they pass it. And defensively, they are near the bottom of the barrel. So hopefully we can score points at ease. Everybody on our top list uh, on a hot streak. Their top player is an 84 overall outside linebacker. And then they go with a punter. So that's good news for us. And they have a left end out with an injury. So that should make it even easier for our offense to work. What's not going to make it easy is this weather. A snowy game here at Wright Nearson 2. Not what you expect. Well, actually, you know what? What am I talking about? It is what you expect. We are in uh, Michigan, so you can't be too surprised. Not too windy, which is good news, but hopefully we don't get caught out with the weather here. We're going to be looking for a shutout in this game. That gives us a solid amount of XP, so <laughs> that's, that's the goal here as we will kick it away. We get the ball to start the third quarter, and it's up to the defense to get the stop. Defensive touchdowns, another thing that gives a lot of XP that we would love to see. Kind of expecting a run on first down. They do hand it off, and we're there to stop them. Just past the line of scrimmage. Wildcats immediately go into the hurry up again. This is a team that we expect to run the football a lot, so hopefully we can get there and stop them as there's a stop from Logan to drop him at the line. It'll be third and nine. My goodness, the quickest hurry up we've ever seen. Try to press our coverage up here. Let's get pressure on this quarterback. Tight end in motion. Usering Smith to try and get pressure. It's a slip screen. A little bit late reacting. Sims diving tackle. Knocked Willie Duncan up in the air. He took an absolute shot and it's a three and out. I feel like that's a situation where in real life, he probably fumbles the football, but not the case here. A minute off of the clock after the first drive, as this will be a very returnable kick for RJ Rivera. Number two on the Heisman board. Can he have a Heisman day today? Trying to run down the sidelines. It's a great 40-yard punt return, and now the offense can try to score their first touchdown of the day. I don't want this game to be anything like the Indiana game because that one just got embarrassing. I wasn't really happy with the way it turned out. I am happy with RJ Rivera getting a little stiff arm cheese. We followed the blockers and it works for 18 yards. We'll go with a little play action pass. Looking probably for Curtis with Maurice Tate. As he looks to the sideline and just going to have to get rid of it. Rolling out, throwing it away. I didn't like that one bit. That play was designed for a rollout to the left, but obviously that doesn't work all that well in this game as we're giving it to RJ and he has no blockers on the slip screen. So we just get back to the line of scrimmage. Now we have a third and 10 to deal with. We can't settle for a field goal. So hoping that Maurice Tate can be accurate or maybe have some space outside the pocket just to run. Can he get into the end zone? No, that was really awkward. Slammed into a wide receiver, slammed into the safety, got the first and goal though. And we're going to try a little read option, see if we can't punch it in, handing it off to Bentley. And Derek gets in no problem. So midway through this first quarter, we're into the end zone for the first time. That gets us to seven, nothing. And I, I expect another three out here. Completely being honest with you, <laughs> Napoleon gunning down once again on the kickoff. If there was an award for that, he would win it with no doubt in my mind kind of expecting a run to the right here could be a counter but the offensive line jumps and that's going to make things a little bit more complicated for this northwestern offense i guess according to the score bug i should be saying no western like a neck beard or something <laughs> first and 15 they go step it back to pass smith gets to the quarterback boyd had a chance to escape but ran the wrong direction so it's another loss of four and just with the off chance of getting some XP for getting a sack record, we're going to just be bringing pressure with Smith most of this game. Quarterback keeps it on the read option. London tackles him for a loss, and it's third and 21. All right. This is great news for us. Just got to defend that first down marker. Quarterback throwing the out route inaccurate. Way off. And it, it is that three and out. The snow seeming to affect Northwestern maybe a little bit more as they're going to be punting this one from their own end zone. This should be a really, really good chance now for RJ Rivera 
to maybe take this one to the house. Not a whole lot of players to beat. Didn't quite respect the speed of 32 there, so we get tripped up. Not the end of the world. That'll give us the ball at the 25, and not a lot of space for the defense to have to work with. Maurice Tate keeping it with a little spin move, staying on his feet, still staying on his feet. RJ Rivera was running into it, but Maurice Tate gets to the goal line. I have no idea what I just witnessed. We're going to give this ball to Derek Bentley. They're stacked up over the line. Maurice decided to keep it himself. <laughs> What's going on? We scored the touchdown, but it was as clunky as it could have been. I swear that was supposed to be handed off. Maurice said something else. As that took about a minute off the clock for the defense to get the three and out. And uh, for the offense to get into the end zone to make it 14-0. Certainly at this point, though, if Northwestern was thinking about just running the ball all game, they're going to run out of time. This one thrown up and way over the head of the wide receiver, out of bounds and incomplete. This could be great news for us if they've elected to just go with their bad quarterback passing the ball for the rest of the day. Second and ten. This one's a handoff, maybe a little bit of a draw play. Gets four yards, but it does bring up third down. And I'm fully confident not having to sell out to stop the run. Expecting a pass, they step back. And London can't get the tackle. Oh my gosh, Shan Castle gets obliterated as well. It's a big 19 yards for Northwestern. Coming into this drive, they had negative three uh, on their first two drives. So it's a big change of pace for them as they will have their quarterback just trying to run, breaking tackles. Lucky he doesn't fumble the ball as he picks up a yard. This one's all over the place. Fully expecting the run on this second down. They do hand it off, and Rawls was there for the big stop in the backfield. We do drop him behind the line, but only for a loss of one. That one was uh, Napoleon making his third tackle of the day as quarterback on a screen. Gets it complete. He had a couple of blocks, but so just not the right ones. So finally, we get them off the field here. RJ Rivera going to get all of his Heisman yards, just returning punts today. As we continue to keep them on the good side of the 50-yard line. No blocking. RJ, we spun right into a tackler there. I wanted to go right. Probably had more space to go to the left. That means that uh, the offense now has a long ways to go. Somehow not starting on the good side of the 50-yard line, which feels awfully we weird. Maurice Tate taking a shot. Tried to slide down just a little bit too late, though. Definitely being successful running the football, so no need to really go away from that. RJ Rivera on the counter has some space. Unable to break the tackle from the safety, but we're at 81 rushing yards already. We'll try to get a pass off here inside a minute left in the uh, quarter. That's a terrible throw. <laughs> I don't know how we got it in there. Chris Rutger couldn't hold on. It ends up being incomplete, but the fact that Maurice got it there, I think is kind of a miracle. Typically, this early in the game, not making that accurate of a throw as I think we could have pitched that one, but it just he wasn't quite there. That gives us a third and two. And in this weird formation, we're just going to hand it off to Bentley up the middle. And he's got us a first down. Well, let's just keep trying to go here. Try to get at least one more playoff in this first quarter. Stepping back outside the pocket. Y is open. Robertson comes down with it. Big boy's got it. We can stay in the hurry up. When your fullback's making catches like that, you know you're in for a good spot as we can get one play off in this half or in this quarter, and Maurice is just going to run. Plenty of space to do it. Trying to make guys miss. Did not mean to dive. That could have been a huge fumble. Thankfully, we're good, and we can get another play off here. Just uh, call anything. Set it up. Try to get to the line and snap this football. It is a pass play. We did get it off. Y is open. Robertson has it. It's worth a yard, but more importantly, a completion for Maurice Tate. And we can go into the second quarter up 14-0. On the doorstep, making a look at 21-0. Defense has done a great job. Offense has done a great job. Special teams has done a great job. We got we got to win this. I guess when I say we got to win this, I kind of just mean uh, we got to win this big. RJ Rivera up the middle, into the end zone, scores the touchdown, 21-0. That drive, uh, 11 runs and five passes. Does that sound right? Did we run that many plays? Maybe that's our entire game so far. As uh, This is a good return. 27 yards. Gets them out pretty far. We've got a defense here who has not let the Northwestern offense get across midfield once. As I'm calling this a run, I feel like it's up the middle. They hand it off up the middle. <laughs> We're there to stop it for a loss. 
Sacked and Levin. You know, I kind of feel like they might try to run it again. They do have a fullback in the formation, but I'm kind of calling pass, and they will step back. A play action quarterback scrambling all the time in the world slides down before taking a shot from Logan. And that's going to make it third and nine as we we'll probably see this quarterback try to run. Gets it complete, but it's Sandcastle with the awareness to take down Ricky Williams. Interesting name there, three and out. And we did give up six yards there, but uh, that's not a bad six yards to give up as <laughs> we uh, get another chance at a kick return. One of these, I, I imagine, has to go for a touchdown today. At least you would think the way that things are going. Gosh, that was awful, though. Didn't get the right blocks, and we got a long ways for the offense to move. Gotta tell you, it feels really nice to be playing like the number four team in the country. B could be open. Tough throw. Jody Gentry comes down with that. Morty's Tate completing that on the run is a miracle. And we're going to give some guys a chance. We're looking deep on this pass play. That's probably picked off Jody Gentry. Taller defender on him. Ball was not thrown far enough. Oh, man, that was not the right read. Just looking through there, honestly, I don't know if there was a right read to be made. If there was, we certainly didn't make it. Second and 10, let's just go ahead and hand this one off to RJ Rivera, who just with a burst of speed finds a very quick nine yards. And on the third and one, we'll give it to, to uh, Bentley and just let him pound it up the middle. Get us our first down. We do need one more third down conversion for some uh, goals, XP wise. So we'll be waiting for that as this is probably, oh my gosh. I thought Fontenot was just going to keep running across the field, so I was just going to lob it up for him. <laughs> RJ Rivera had the wind knocked out of him, so he'll be back in soon, and we'll go with a jet sweep. I got to say, I got real lucky on that last play. It was a foolish one, and the blocking was terrible, so Mark Morris gets dropped for a loss of three. Well, that is what I would call suboptimal, as we will step back, looking to throw. Why? Breaking open Morris. Not going to have the speed to take it into the end zone, but he gets us the first and goal. That's back-to-back -back plays. We go to Morris. It seems it works a little bit better through the uh, or, yeah through the air than on the ground, and we're going to give it to him again. Maybe a touchdown swing screen. This is so risky. He catches it. Not a whole lot of space to work with, and he's just going to get back to the line. Can't help but feel like I was a little bit late making the decision to throw that football, uh, and it kind of hurt us. Right bumper was who I was trying to throw that to. He was nowhere near that area. That Again, lucky it's not picked off. This has been insane to me. Four of four on third downs. We're giving it to RJ Rivera on a counter. The blocking isn't there at all. Oh my goodness. Fourth and goal and we're going to go for it. Well, this is suboptimal. Two minutes left in the half. We do get the ball to start the third quarter, but not what you want is RJ Rivera's wide open on the wheel route. And he fell over. Just keep moving the foot. Ah, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> he fell down at the one. That is so brutal. Calling this a run up the middle, trying to stop it. Oh, gosh. Went for the safety. What is this quarterback doing? What was that? <laughs> okay, we got a safety. I refuse to believe that there wasn't somebody open on that play. I absolutely refuse. As RJ Rivera, well, he's going to try to make up for it. One man to make miss, and he does. 53 in a foot race, and RJ Rivera gets the punt return for a touchdown off of the safety uh, what you, what's happening right now if anybody gets this let me know because i certainly don't as i don't really know what we're trying for right here we will look to throw outside the pocket a could have been open more state's not gonna get there or we <laughs> maybe he will the fact that things are going our way in this game means that we're blessed it wants us to get this xp i really feel like most of the time this doesn't go in our favor but it's 31 to nothing with two minutes remaining in the half oh my gosh sandcastle just killed ricky williams what a weird flurry of points appearing out of thin air just like 10 points all of a sudden Minute and 51, move the tight end in motion, bring him back. Smith hits the quarterback, gets the sack. That gives us some XP, and they take the timeout for us. Second and 13, a bunch of defensive players on fire, expecting passes. Can we just continue to hit this quarterback? Can we not give up anything crazy? Both of those matters. They doesn't go out of bounds. They're going to go in the hurry up as, again, we expect to pass. We'll see what we can do to stop it. No chance. I feel like for them to run it on third and seven. Are they burning down the clock? Well, it appears that way. 
but that can only help us. I mean, as long as we get the stop here, it can help us because we can time the snap on that. Quarterback gets sacked. Take the timeout. Fourth and 14. Minute and one on the clock. When I said that RJ Rivera was just going to return punts today, I didn't think it would be literal, but here we are. Two timeouts, and he's going to be fielding another one with blockers in front of him. Just can't quite get the little juke to work. So we have okay field position. We're at the 40-yard line. I guess it could be worse. They're playing up no safeties. We're sending them deep. This could be a really, really quick touchdown. Probably not. Oh, that's picked off stone. Dude, these it must be the snow, but their DBs have no hands. And I'm getting so lucky. 7 of 13 through the air for Maurice, who's still considered on fire. Um, but it should be like nine interceptions and stone just broke a tackle with two guys on him what is going on somebody call up lewis hamilton because it's us now that are truly hashtag blessed if any of you even understand that reference i'll be kind of surprised as oh i don't feel it trying to just scramble maurice tate staying alive staying uh on his feet and going out of bounds first goal with 32 seconds this is something else can we score maybe twice potentially? Maurice keeping it, taking a hit. We're gonna take a time out there. I'm just honestly a little bit worried about my passing decisions so far today. So we are gonna hand it off on the triple option. Robertson gets us a little bit closer, but it's third and goal with the clock moving. And we're just gonna have to give this to Rivera up the middle. See what we can do. Bounce it to the edge, RJ into the end zone. Oh, I got worried that I totally botched the clock there. I think we got a little bit lucky. But that's another touchdown. With just 10 seconds left in the half, we are well on our way to 69. But honestly, with the amount of XP that we need, uh, we might be going for more than that. Uh, especially if we can get the shutout. It is like four touchdowns and a field goal away. But if we can score five touchdowns, six touchdowns, we're going to take that opportunity. The curious thing is, uh, actually, it feels like they're going to try and run this football. Let's try to strip the ball. Maybe we can create some chaos. He fumbles the ball. Logan picks it up. Zero on the clock. Logan. Oh, one man to beat. He couldn't do it. We tried to strip the ball. We successfully did it. We caused the turnover, but the zeros left. Had to run for the end zone, and he just wasn't quite quick enough. I don't know who it is that gets the tackle. I think the quarterback. What a way to end the half that would have been. Oh, my gosh. Would have been a dream nonetheless 38 nothing at the half defense is obliterating offense is unstoppable nothing can stop us the question is can we get enough xp to level up before simming through the week i think it's almost impossible to get that much xp in a game but if we keep going at this rate there's definitely a chance we get the ball to start the third quarter i'm feeling good about that we just have to be moving the ball and maybe if the defense could score a touchdown or two that would help out quite a bit but Let's just keep rolling and hope that the second half provides just as much uh, as the first half, if not more. Go ahead and let these guys get us back underway. Rivera deep to return. And the blocking, oh, it was beautiful for a second. Quickly became a little bit messy. Decent return. I keep praying for like perfect ones so that the offense doesn't have to see the field as I don't like this at all. There's, oh my gosh, there's a lot of jerseys. Just get down, Mortys. I am cheesing some plays and some scrambles like I normally wouldn't, just in the interest of trying to score as many points as possible. As Archie Rivera got 11 on that carry somehow. Just like that, a few seconds past the start of the quarter, and we are looking great, and I'm just getting rid of that one. B might have actually been open, but I just don't feel confident right there. But almost immediately, we are really looking good. Stepping back. Again, A was wide open. B is wide open. Chris Rutger. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why. He, if he runs towards the end zone, it's a touchdown. Instead, he runs back and almost gets himself killed. He got the first down. But at what cost? <laughs> it brings us uh, just a little bit closer to the end zone. Stepping back. Right bumpers wide open. And we missed him. Oh, that's a bummer. That was the touchdown. I think... Maurice just got a little bit too excited. Try a little play action on this one. Right bumper open this time. We do get it to Morris. He's going to break the first tackle, but there's a second defender behind to finish it out. 
unfortunately for these guys not only do they have to worry about the passing attack but also the attack on the ground as Derek Bentley well maybe they don't have to worry about it goes for zero on the counter I gotta be careful with a play like this but uh, maybe uh, Maurice keeping it on the read option as long as we don't take a big shot he can oh, almost avoid the contact and get into the end zone 10 carries he's over 100 yards rushing on the day as we will look S swing screen third and four. Oh, that's a terrible decision on that one we lose some yardage fourth and six we're gonna have to go for this can't afford to look at anything else as it is a rollout so expect me to at least look to scramble with Maurice on this one on the play action outside the pocket a is open we didn't get it off in time that is so disastrous Two minutes of clock gone with nothing to show for it. Hurts quite a bit as we're going to try to bring some pressure on this first down. They're stepping back to pass. Quarterback is in the end zone releasing that football, but we just couldn't quite get to him. You better believe that we are bringing that kind of pressure once again. Second and 10. Royal still can't get there. Quarterback avoiding some fumbles. The ball, they pick it back up though. Ah, we're forcing fumbles, but it's just not quite working on our favor right now. They're able to get it back at the line of scrimmage. And this is going to be tough. Pressure getting there. Maybe a chance to block the punt. I don't know. Fourth and 15. Good screen to not take the safety, I guess. RJ looking a lot, really lonely back there. But we're bringing pressure just to see maybe if we can do something. And no, we hit the kicker. Hopefully there's, there's going to be a penalty. RJ fumbles the ball, but this is going to be a first down for their defense. I'm fairly certain. Unless we're lucky. No, they don't call it. Wow. Blessed. Well, the passing attack got us into a little bit of trouble on the last drive. So let's hand it off to RJ towards the edge. Maybe up the middle. See what he can do. He took a shot. Got six yards, though. Gotta say, it feels really weird to actually be blowing a team out. Felt like they were going to bring pressure, and they don't. And B is open. That's going to be picked off. Oh, my. Uh, how many times have I said that? Somebody comment below. I've said that at least 10 times this episode, I think. I'm in such a hurry to try and score as many points as possible that I am forcing terrible passes play in and play out as we have our fullback carrying it for the first and goal. And I don't know why we're not just running every play. Really doesn't seem like it's working. We're going to give it back to Robertson just on a designed handoff. Maybe not. Maurice decided to keep it again. He's hurting the offense. That right there, I guess, part of the reason why we just uh, don't run the football as much is just because it's not working all that well. Although, that's a big seven yards from Derek Bentley. And on third and goal from three, maybe four out, what are the odds that we can just run it up the middle? Maurice, hand the ball off, you buffoon! That makes twice now that my quarterback has just decided to go rogue and completely screw me over. A is wide open. Thankfully, we get it to Brian Curtis. Good little whip route towards the edge. It's so frustrating, though. I just like, why? Why Why are we not? Why do we only have 45 points? <laughs> Actually, I'm lucky that we have 45, uh, if I'm being honest, because uh, the amount of possible interceptions that I've thrown this game could be a whole lot lower. Just a minute and 21 left here in this third quarter as uh i don't know i'm kind of expecting them to keep passing five sacks for the defense at this point in the game oh my gosh that should have been another one trying to strip the ball again we almost give up the first down and obliterate the quarterback i haven't had to bring a blitz yet but i'm kind of feeling like we call one here oh no yep that guy was wide open i brought devin roy up the safety and did i just throw the shutout in one play that's disappointing well, that will make it all but impossible as, I don't know, Logan was supposed to be covering him. And now it's going to take a miracle to keep these guys out of the end zone. Trying to strip the football. He won't drop it, but we do get the sack. Ties the school records for sacks in the game. That's a big amount of XP. Bruised shoulder for, I think, the man that uh, ran this ball all the way down here. We need to get them to a spot where they'll go for it on fourth and fail. Or if we could force a fumble that would be big as well doesn't happen there still a loss of two fully expecting them to go to the air here as the third quarter is about to come to a close no they hand the ball off trying to strip the ball it doesn't happen and that's going to end our third quarter 
in an unfortunate manner because they are in field goal range. I hope that they go for this. I expect them to kick the field goal. Just one mistake. One time bringing up the safety when I couldn't afford to. When they put it in the air and we almost give it all up there. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. We continue to stay blessed. They're going for it. Fourth and goal. And oh, that might change their decision. This is rough. False start. We might be going offside here if they decide to kick it. But the offense is the one that's still out onto the field. Things could not go better for us here. Six minutes to play. We need tons and tons of points still. But a stop on this one would be massive. Quarterback trying to run. Fumbles the football. Man, we're forcing a lot of fumbles. We just can't really recover them. But it is a turnover on downs. And George Smith now fully sets the record for sacks in the game with five so far. Only one deep safety here. We could be looking to send somebody... Fontano or Rucker will see safety shies to the... Oh, we got sacked. <laughs> I expected to catch him off guard a little bit better than that. Now, second and 20. I gotta be careful not to take a safety. I think I'm in the end zone right now. Getting rid of it. Rucker comes down with it. Oh, it doesn't quite have the speed. That might have been a touchdown. 13 of 23 for Morris. I don't know how we're getting the completions that we're getting, but it's working honestly pretty well. A could be open. A is open. No way that gets there. <laughs> this is a terrible game. Well, call me foolish. I know somebody thinks this is a terrible idea, but uh, fourth and five? Guess what? We're going to go for it and see what we can do. As B was wide open. That's going to be picked off. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What am I doing? There were people open all over the field the entire play. And then I went for the strip instead of just tackling him. And the offensive lineman can't reach him. Oh my gosh. I'm such an idiot. I'm actually brain dead. The longer a game goes on, I think the worse I get. As they're going to go for the onside kick. Uh, Down 45 to 7. And, and, and they got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. They sense my desperation for the XP. And they are absolutely exploiting it and just making me feel bad. Quarterback's going to scramble very successfully. Look at the blocking that he's getting downfield. What the hell is this? You going to tell me as many times as this guy's taking a shot? He's comfortable running like that. Smith can't get there. Pressure trying to get to him. He does throw incomplete. <laughs> And man, these guys have dropped back to pass so many times, but he only has 11 attempts. So he has been sacked that many times, had to run that many times. It's Pressure City in the pocket. He fumbles it, and finally we recover it. Whitaker, he might have forced the fumble and recovered it. They say Clinton Whitfield, but uh, okay, a little bit going our way. Here's the problem. We have an offense that has started to stagnate. Maurice Tate no longer on fire with all the incompletions and whatnot, and the step back goes nowhere. It's like uh, we started you know, uh, unstoppable, and now we are very, very much stoppable, very mortal. Y is open, Chris Rutger comes down with it. There's a flag down, this can be a holding, almost certainly. Yeah, so this one's coming back. Well, I guess that's going to make it second and 18. RJ Rivera comes in, they're bringing pressure, but we're running the counter. If RJ can avoid it, oh my gosh, you would think the fastest player on the team could avoid a tackle like that. Safety just goes completely unblocked into the backfield, though, so what looked like it could have been huge turns into basically nothing, and it's third and very long. A is open if we can get it there. Mark Morris, oh, okay. I said he was open. He was not open. Uh, we just willed it into existence, though. This has been one weird game. We're going to try a little mid-screen. Caught by Jody Gentry. Jody Gentry has a blocker in front of him. He's got 15 yards. When you call a mid-screen, that's exactly what you're hoping to have happen, and it works that time. Maurice again keeping it, getting some blocks, making sure I slid down there, even if we lost a yard or two. And we will step back to throw once again. Kind of looking at the quick slants. X over the middle. Mm. 
lobbed it into the area of five Northwestern players. Maurice couldn't find anybody. Some really, like, bizarre plays so far today. Uh, I'm going to bring Brian Palmer in motion. No, the game won't let me. That's fine. We're running a counter, trying to get Bentley back inside. Just give ourselves the first down. That one stops the clock for us as we will go a little play action pass. Waiting, looking for it. Why? B was open. Maurice Tate. First and goal. Uh, and he might be hurt. So that wasn't worth it. If that's the one that does him in for the rest of the season, I will be so disappointed. Albert Johnson in it, quarterback. Godwin gets into the end zone, or Goodwin gets into the end zone. But at what cost? We will wait to see. A strained peck will return soon for Maurice. I was going to say we'll wait for the medical examiner to get back to us, but thankfully we didn't have to wait long, and thankfully it is not a serious injury. Very much could have been like a torn peck, but we get away with it. Well, somehow we're not going to score 69. Just uh, a, a horrendous second half, but we will still try our hardest. Albert Johnson is going to be finishing this game out as we're going to try to create some more turnovers. I think these guys have officially waved the white flag as, I don't know, we could probably expect to see a lot of runs here. Quarterback actually keeping it, though, and Moore gets beat by Williams. Sandcastle is going to have to be the one that makes the, the save. They go to Ricky Williams again. Our defense has been out on the field so long. Every single player on the defense is either hot or on fire. That's insane. I've never seen that. Uh, what good it's doing, though? Oh, you would think that uh, we wouldn't have given up any points, huh? Second and inches. I guess the defense hasn't given up any points. But uh, here we are. As they are all of a sudden running very successfully. This quarterback... Uh, not having to do much in this situation as well as look at that sandcastle gets beat knocks his man down all of a sudden these guys are on fire completely unstoppable maybe we can do something to stop it but i don't feel confident and we'll just have to rely on them to shoot themselves in the foot with a false start well if we wanted to get a stop this would be the time huh Tight end in motion, Anderson in. So we're up to our backups at this point, or we're down to our backups. And we still can't make tackles, so it's first and goal. Really frustrating. All of a sudden, we just can't get a tackle to save our lives here, it seems. As that's a big handoff. Lewis gets the stop, thankfully. But uh, I think they're maybe down to the four, five-yard line. They're getting close. That's what matters. This one, an option towards the edge. Quarterback keeps it, and he's into the end zone. Every once in a while, man, at the end of these games, our defense just goes completely AWOL. And that's one of those situations here. Well, let's see. Can they go two for two on onside recoveries? Or will somebody do something? Lewis grabs it. Thank goodness. We are still alive. Maurice Tate comes back in. And let's just take a look. Look at the difference. Everybody on defense was on fire. Not a single person on the offense. A is wide open. Maurice gets it to Stone. Step back cheese doesn't work, but it's 25 yards. And we are not about to call this a game. They're still going for it. But also, we just uh, really need all this XP that we can get. Spin move for Maurice does nothing. That one keeps the clock moving as we will step back. Looking to throw pressure. Getting to us outside the pocket. Trying to wait. Just having to throw it away. Nobody on that side of the field to throw to. At this point, I'm going to continue to keep passing because I don't think we have 250 passing yards yet. And that would be a very useful milestone to hit. Right bumpers open. Robertson holds onto it. Good hands from the fullback to get us inside the 10. And I don't know how exactly we're going to do this uh, to get our XP, but uh, we need 15 yards. We're not going to get there. Chris Rucker scores. We get the touchdown, but we are still seven short. Well, 449 total yards. Uh, 47 seconds, all our timeouts. We need a three and out here. Very, very much. Are they going to return a kick? Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, the longer that this defense and special teams see the field, the worse they get without fail. This one's going to be a handoff. Logan, good stop. We needed that one. I'll take the first timeout. Doesn't seem like these guys are going to call it quits just yet as this one's a run up the middle and the tackle is broken. Oh my goodness. 
What does a guy have to do to get a little bit of defense around here? I would love to know. Call me if you find out, because it doesn't seem promising as this one's a run up the middle with another broken tackle and another first down. We rushed seven on that play, knowing that they were going to run it up the middle and still nothing. No point in calling the timeouts because they're still in the hurry up. And there we go, a drop for a loss of nothing. Second and 10, 17 seconds. They probably just hand it off to Washington again. I got to be wary of the counter, so we'll stick Smith out wide. And there's the tackle. There's the final timeout, third and 13, hoping for a miracle. What we need is for these guys to uh, put it in the air. Try to pass the ball here. I got to let him get rid of it. That's a first down, though. Oh, that's so annoying. Trying to strip the ball. Nothing doing there. Seven seconds now. It really just seems like our defense becomes uh, worthless at the end of the game. Time in and time out. This one, a handoff to the wide receiver. <laughs> He's into the end zone. Oh, what the heck is that? These guys became superheroes. Like, uh, completely unstoppable there. Lewis gets it. We got to dive down here. Two seconds. It's a chance for us to get to that 250 passing with Maurice Tate. I don't really feel confident about any of this, but we'll see if we can pick something up. They are not rushing a whole lot of guys waiting for it. I just got to heave one up and see if Derek Bentley can come down with it. Or somebody for Jersey's in the area. Nobody could do it. We end it seven short. I don't know why in my head I still thought we needed 15 yards. We could have just thrown a simple slant route and called it a game. We are a thousand points short still, or a thousand XP short, but it's getting closer with every single one of these pop-ups. I don't think it's going to be enough though, uh, especially the shutout victory would have been a hundred points. We need like 400. I'm just going to watch this XP bar go up. Yeah, it's getting so close, but it's not going to be enough. 59-21 at the end of the day. Uh, the f I don't know how he gave up 21 points. Yeah, that's the most disappointing part to me because that should have never been close. And the fact that we gave up three touchdowns and the way that the defense played at the end of the game after obliterating these guys in the first half, that is disappointing. Very, very disappointing. A big win, 8-1. and one. We're still looking incredible, but uh, we didn't achieve the goals that we set out to achieve today. And at the end of it, that, that just hurts. Just an uh, interesting game. 21 points given up in the fourth quarter. Seven points scored in the third. That's just, it's not acceptable. Uh, you know, we had 206 rushing, 243 through the air. We held them uh, under 250 total. We won the turnover battle, I think, right? We, yeah, we threw a pick, but we had two fumble recoveries. But at the end of it, like, as good of a win as that is, it didn't feel like a good win. RJ Rivera gets offensive player of the game. He's got three total touchdowns, just 63 uh, rushing yards and no receiving yards. George Smith, though, six tackles, five of them sacks, and two forced fumbles on the game. Oh, if only we could recover a couple more of those. Thankfully, Maurice State, although he was slightly injured, is still healthy. And we do move to 9-1, and one, but it's just not quite enough as we are only 320 XP away from leveling up. Oh, we were so close to doing it. Passing for 250 yards would have given us 25. If we could have gotten two more touchdowns, that puts us up to 75. Uh, if we could have gotten a defensive touchdown, that would have put us at 100. If we would have just kneeled while we were ahead in the last uh, minute, that would have been 10. Keeping them or shutting them out is 100 points. Like there's so many things that we could have done. 100% red zone efficiency, I don't think that we had. Pass completion over 50%, I don't think that we had. Like so close to so many different things that we could have done in the game to put us over that mark. But it's not quite the case, so we're just going to have to cross our fingers in between weeks here and hope that we can still unlock our guy. We are on the road at Michigan State for this upcoming week 12. The question is, uh, how important is it going to be that we look good? Well, Elliot Erdman, what? What is this ball? What? No. Christian Grimmel just committed to Texas. Elliot Erdman just committed to Florida. What on earth is that BS? I get Elliot Erdman. How does Christian Grimmel commit? We were in the lead with a visit still to go, gaining on every single team. 
This is completely unacceptable that somehow Texas has that big of a visit that drops us down over 2,000 points. That is absolutely absurd. I don't think I can get over this. We have been completely robbed of Christian Grimmel. Texas is going to die next year. We are scheduling them for a early season game and we are wiping the floor with the Longhorns. Mark my words. I cannot believe that that's how that works. The bag men out in full for the Longhorns. Horns down 100%. And oh, we are, oh, I am so livid right now. I don't think I can express how angry that makes me as we stay at number four in the nation. Unfortunately, on that bombshell, we're going to have to call it for this episode. Let me know down in the comments if you think that we just got robbed or if somehow that was deserved for Texas. And then if you haven't already, subscribe if you're not already, subscribe to the channel, and then hit the like button. Both of those things help out the channel tremendously. And then you can head down to the description where you'll find links to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. There's also links to my TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and our community Discord, as well as the college football revamped mod. But all of that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the gray boys and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning and we'll see you later. Adios. Special thanks to our tier three members, Durham Finch, Avery Binkley and Warmaster777.